So we will stand up all together, raise our eyes up to the sky. With faith and love in our hearts, we will embark. Oh, oh, oh. We will give a we. Another game, another series getting remastered and it's coming out in November. It was due to come out in a couple of weeks, but nevertheless it has been delayed. But nevertheless, hello my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro here, and welcome back to Throwback Thursdays with the start of a brand new playthrough. I am doing the Spyro Trilogy, and I'm starting with the first one, because why not? Next to Crash Bandicoot, this was one of the games of my childhood. I'm doing demo mode. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Accessing memory card. You just. Oh. It's that one. Yes, let's create a save file. In the world of dragons. So that's the name of the first, so okay, that's the name of this. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or... Uh, are they being interviewed for a news or program or something? And why is Spyro chasing a sheep? <laughs> or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganork character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is an ugly <laughs> Looks like I've got some things to do. Why did he not do that to Spyro? That would have been a mind you, that would have been a very short game. <laughs> the adventure begins. <laughs> Right, so it looks like we are in a tutorial level, so I will be a little rusty. Bear with me. Here we go. That was easy! Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. So dragons are priority number one. Okie dokie. And who's this? Spyro. Oh, it's a, it's a fairy. It's a save point. Okay. I've got Sparks the Dragonfly. Whoa. Oh, gee. Bye! This would be so much easier if I had a controller with analog sticks instead of having to rely on the cookie. Instead of having to rely on the um, keyboard all the time. But hey, hell, what can you do? It's just. Joys of running on an emulator, you just gotta make the most of the situation you have. Um. 
Ba -ba -da -ba -da! Ah, well, let's breathe for it. I've seen fire, and I've seen rain. Ba -da -ba -da! I'm going to have some fun now. I just toasted a sheep and it became a butterfly for some bizarre reason. Cool flash, do that again. The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must- You are not prepared! <laughs> Two down, eight to go. And, oh, another, another sheep. What the deuce? And there we go, that is another sheep toasted. At least this has the save as you go approach. So that's two down. Stone Hill, eh? Bye! Haha, <laughs> sayonara! Now, I have no idea that as I'm trying to remember how the gems work. But nevertheless. Ah, there's another dragon. That's three. I was like, what could the gems possibly do? Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks. Hey! He's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Three down, seven to go. Bye! And he's out of here. That'll do. Ah, five gems, excellent. Ooh! Oh, extra light. Excellent. There's Dark Hollow. Now, is there anybody else I can help? If not, then... Ooh, hang on. Ah, last. Almost made it. Made it this time. And I got some more gems. It pays to be a good explorer, ladies and gentlemen. That is. Actually, I wonder if there's a way of. Change the control. Okay. Can handle that. Ah. Huzzah! Another dragon! Hey, Spyro. Press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? 
Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. <laughs> That's reassuring to know. That is very reassuring to know. And just a simple change of the um, camera settings and... Hello, good sir! And now prepare to die. There you go. Kaboom! Not now, fairy. I have gems to collect and dragons to free. And up a daisy! Town Square. Okay. And we go wee up so daisy we go. That'll do. Now on to the other side. Since I can't find anybody else, since I can't find anybody else, let's head to the first of our main levels because I believe this is the hub world. Let's go Stone Hill. I mean, it's just treasure. I mean, what does the treasure go towards, though? A ram! Ha ha! Sayonara! You can even toast the rams? Okay! Bye! Not long to go now, uh, because, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna have F1 2018! Woohoo! Excitement! Life! Woohoo! I'll take that, thank you very much. And another dragon! <clears throat> After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex and think of a jigger. Back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. I'd rather continue exploring. Oh, ouch. And let's try again. Let's see what's through here. Probably another dragon. Boom! This man is on a rampage! This man is on fire tonight! You cannot stop me, for I am Spyro! Ooh, you can even kill the wizards as well. Excellent! And now prepare to die! Ah, fridge. And now prepare to die. And now prepare to die. Oh, you can even ram into the sheep and turn them into butterflies. Ooh, two for one special. That'll do nicely! Oh. 
Ah, there's another dragon up here. So, let's elevate it, ele elevate me to the sky. Whoa, so elevate it. Boom! Gildas! Spyro, my friend, how about a hit on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Good to know! Good to know. Oh! Ah! Now let's see what I can get over here. Ah! Invisible walls. Invisible walls. Invisible walls. Invisible walls. Invisible walls. I'm running around the entire circumference of this map. Pretty big map, even by uh, 1990s standards. this now this I like bye sheep Right, I've done pretty much all I can in this area. On to the next one. Okay, so I can't go that way. Ooh! Goody, goody, gumdrop! Treasure! Treasure! And more treasure! And even more treasure! Ouch! And a sore head. I would say, would you like a trip to the vet spiral, but uh, these sort of dragons aren't exactly, you know, real, because the dragons we think of are mythical creatures. Never mind. Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Ah, it's just lights. Let's save. Now, how many dragons is that now? Seven. Three to go. Already been here. Ouch. Already. <laughs> Already been through there. That's one. Three. Yep. That's everything I can get from there. So, let's go home. I mean, I have no idea how the, um... Ah! Hello, good sirs. And now prepare to die. Ouch. Ouch.
let's go from day to night. Dark Hollow next. Bye! Bye! That's a lot of frogs! And now prepare to- Oh gee whiz! Ah, so that's what the that's what the butterflies are for. The butterflies are to recover sparks health. You lose sparks and you're down to one hit and then that's it, you're gone. There's another dragon! It's Darius! Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Toasty! Let's eat. We are fit as a fiddle. And another extra life! Huzzah! Let's see what else I can find. Huh. Ah, I was going to say anything down this way. Ah. Belly is invincible to the flames. He is invincible. Hang on. Bye. Ooh, a key. Now, what could the key be for? Yourself, never put dragons in water because they will die. Now, what those things could be for, I don't know. And then I saw a key as well. So, I believe it was down this way. Yep. Let's 
six. Where's the key? There we go! safe with me. That's nine. Let's see before we go into the game any more trouble. Stretch of the neck there, Spyro. Let's keep going. <laughs> ah, hello, good sir. And now prepare to die. Your shield is no match for me. Ah, so that's what the key's for. The key is for this. Now, what could it be? It's all. Huh, just a lot of treasure. Uh, okay, okay. Can handle that. Can handle that. Bye! I have told you once! I have told you a thousand times! Your. Your shields are no match for the almighty Spyro the Dragon! And that's dragon number 10, baby! Oh, it's you! I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, <laughs> they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Easy enough, good to know! Doesn't fire melt metal? I have been there, been there. That's the starting point. I believe that's us. That's it. We have done everything we can in this area. And onwards we go, back home. Idea what these are for. Are they for like getting an extra life or anything like that? Eh, who knows? Alright. I've been to Stone Hill, I've been to Dark Hollow. Let's go for one more world. Actually, let's see if there's somewhere else we can explore. I believe there's a world down here we could go for. Yeah, that, that's going right. Yeah. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, I believe they are for.
there and take it like absolute cowards. Just need one more and then that's me up to super strength and I am the almighty dragon! Would this be the appropriate point to to go, uh... Nah, that would be too easy. Anything in here? Oh! Marco the Balloonist. Wow, I've seen you've been a busy drag... Wow, I see you have been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro! You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world, if you like. Let's see, what the peace, let's see what the Peacekeeper's world is like. Oh, and a dragon right out of the gate. THE ALMIGHTY TITAN! Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us. And stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure. Got it. Now I'm not sh again. Dry Canyon. Ah, right, so it's another world. And there's your hat trick. You are welcome. Ah, and another dragon. Very nicely. Magnus. Hi, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. And that's 12! Ah, so that's how they work. Okay. That, I need a key. Dr. Shem.
I mean, there's obviously a way of getting up there, but how does one go about doing it? That'll do nicely. Ooh, hello. Now what could be down here? I wonder. Ice cavern. Oh, it's just another world. Welcome to my brand new world. Ah, hang on. Ah, so that's what the cannons do. Ah, right. Another dragon. Well done, Spyro. Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? What I destiny? Just, kick some just toast those enemies and collect the treasure. <laughs> Straight to the point. Okay. It's an egg! It's an egg! So each world must have an egg. I'm definitely saving that, I mean... No, 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 no! Kaboom! Treasure! Come to me! Well, that's what the cannon does. Oh, there's a cannon. Can... There's obviously a cannon somewhere. And not too far. Okay, that box. But in order to get to set box. <gasps> no! Oh, the horror! No! Oh, the horror! No! Oh my word! Oh my word! That was horrible! That was horrible! That'll do. Do 
எடுத்து There's a way to get over there. Convince me something. Of it, I That does. Well, I mean, the cannons are obviously used for something. Magic Crafters world is... The Magic Crafters world is a far away and very dangerous. Stands. Which must mean I'm going back to the main hub world. I'm pretty sure I'll get some new powers along the way, either there or. Ah! So get enough of those and you get an extra life? That'll do nicely! Ah! Tusty! Oh, it's a boss! It's a boss! Oh, goody! Good way to finish the episode, I think. You just know this is gonna be. You know you're about to encounter a boss when you um, when the music starts to out intensify.
Out. Ah, fridge. has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring them on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. It's 14 dragons now. Ow. Bother. Oh, come on. No, come on. Are you serious? Right. Hang on. Come on!
And as it turns out, the jack-o'-lantern turned out to be a sheep on stilts. Nevertheless, there we go. Let's save. Actually. There we go. Now we can see. And we'll leave it there, folks. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, as always, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to be baptized into following this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. Click the bell to join the latter day series notifications code so you don't miss anything I do on this channel. Uh, reaction from yesterday on the left, throwback Thursday playlist on the right, and next week I'll have a dedicated Spiral the Dragon playlist. In the meantime, it's podcast day tomorrow, and F1 2018 will be out, so I'll be going through the entire achievement list for F1 2018. Until then, enjoy the rest of your day, peace out, stay faithful as always.